That is such a cool idea. I know where I want to move next time. I mean, how much fun is that? All right, let's take you outside to our ABC 10 News sky cams as we see sunny skies for the inland neighborhoods. A few patchy clouds kind of lingering near the coast as we look towards La Jolla and downtown. It's really in that stretch from La Jolla down through Point Loma, including downtown parts of Old Town that are seeing some of those clouds. Everybody else is pretty much sunny, but maybe a little bit hazy. We certainly saw so much slower clearing today and tomorrow even more so. As we look at the 60s and 70s we're seeing across the county, it's 69 in Kearney Mesa, Vista, and in Chula Vista right now. So it's not only the coast that is seeing 60s at this hour. Heading into this evening, those clouds that are eroding right now, they're going to roll right back in. They'll be at the coast before sunset. Temperatures will be staying mostly in the mid 60s as we head into the overnight hours and even into tomorrow morning. Low to mid 60s to start off the day for the coast and inland neighborhoods. Some of the cooler inland spots though will be in the 50s. For the inland neighborhoods, we're also going to see those clouds rolling in. They may not arrive until 6 or 7 o'clock, maybe even 8 o'clock, depending on how far inland you are. But if you're looking for the comet again tonight, you may need to go off to the foothills, the mountains, or the deserts because those clouds, uh, I think they're going to be making it a little difficult to see that comet. I went out last night and was like, mm, nope, it's overcast. All right, temperature is tomorrow. About as cool or as comfortable as they were today, depending on your perspective. Maybe a degree or two cooler. We're still looking at mostly mid 60s to low 70s along our coast, mid 70s for most of the inland neighborhoods, 73 in El Cajon and in Fallbrook, 72 in Julian and Mount Laguna, mid 70s in Ramona and Santee, right at 70 in San Marcos and in Vista, mid 90s in the deserts. It's actually a little bit closer to normal in the deserts, but again, the coast and the valleys are still about five degrees cooler than average, and we're all going to get cooler as this storm system right here dives south. Now it's bringing most of the rain to the Pacific Northwest. It's going to bring a drop in temperatures by Friday. We're going to be locally up to 15 degrees below average. Most areas will be about five to 10 degrees cooler than normal, though, but we warm right back up this weekend. There's also a chance for a little bit of rain coming through on Thursday. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to fast forward through your morning commute. I'm going to go all the way through 11 a.m. Most coast and valleys are still completely socked in the clouds, very similar to what we saw today. Then into the afternoon, some of those clouds linger along our coast, very slow clearing inland. Thursday, I'm going to fast forward through the day because check it out. We're not going to see much sunshine at all on Thursday. And by Thursday evening, we'll see a chance for some showers. Maybe as early as Thursday morning, that marine layer getting a little enhanced by that storm system, but the best chance for some showers will be Thursday night into Friday morning. Temperatures will be in mostly in the 60s through Saturday along our coast. We will see more sunshine though this weekend. It actually looks like we could see some mild Santa Ana winds rolling in right behind the system. I'm actually going to discuss that further in our next half hour. Mostly in the 70s through Saturday for the inland neighborhoods. 80s return by Sunday. For the mountains, it will also be breezy on Thursday, and this is where the biggest drop in temperatures will happen. 50s Friday and Saturday, but by Monday, we're back in the 70s, and not expecting any rain in the deserts, but cooling off and it will be a little gusty by Thursday.